one of my most, is this thing on? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I have a most memorable, be and it, it was, um, it's not something that most people got to see or have ever heard about. And I do remember where it happened. It was in Fresno, California at a house show. And uh, I had just finished being a coach on Tough Enough. And I don't know if it was two or three, whatever one it was. But I had learned to have the most utmost respect for the young people that were trying to break into the business through that show. We put them through hell. They survived the hell just for a hopeful shot at a developmental career or contract with WWE. So the show was airing and at the same time I got put back on the road with SmackDown Group and I was on the road doing a bikini contest with Tori Wilson and Stacey Keebler. Now, I'm just out of the ring with all these, you know, hard-working people that want to be workers in wrestling, and I have to go out there and pretend that I'm afraid of Stacey Keebler and Tori Wilson. I didn't remember this. So you do what you're told. As a performer and an entertainer, you do the very best you can to make that moment work for the fans. But inside... It was eating me up every night that when they'd come to punch me and I'm supposed to run like I'm afraid of them, they'd go. <laughs> now, at the time, you've got Stacy Keebler, who's dating Test, and I'm thinking, hey, mofo, can't you teach your girlfriend how to punch? You know, just one time. For the sake of our show and all those kids on Tough Enough, Right? That we're trying to make this thing seem legitimate. Yeah. And then, you know, so anyway, Fit Finley was our agent at the time. He handled all the girls' matches. And I finally, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I was a psychopath on the road to the next, you know, town. Chuck Palumbo was driving with me, and I'd be like, I can't do it. you know, and he's like, just, you know, just chill. It's going it's to work out. It's going to work out. He's like, oh, God, I don't want to drive with her anymore. But anyway, finally I approached um, Fit Finley about, you know, is it okay if I can, like, just cut a real promo on those guys? Like, a real heartfelt promo? I was even, like, journaling about it, you know? And he said, yeah, go ahead. It's okay. He knew it would be good, good stuff. So I showed up that night, and I pulled Fit Finley aside, and I said, is this, I still got your permission to, you know, do a shoot interview with these guys or a shoot promo? He said, yeah. So I went out there, and it was most memorable, you guys, because it was very engaging for the fans. Yeah, yeah. This was a real moment. Now, before that, I was out there, and I, Stacey Keebler had this blank look on her face like she wasn't even listening or even involved in the match or the moment, even though she's being paid to be there. She's not even engaged in the moment with everyone paying for, for a ticket price to see her be engaged in the moment. Until I would say a certain line a certain way, and then she'd go, now I'm on and I'm supposed to punch you. Right? That's not the way I learn to work. The way wrestlers learn to work is you learn from listening from the veteran who can tell you anything they want you to do, and you got to say, yes, I'll do it, and you follow their lead. So this is someone that's not even listening. And I got a powder for him, right? So when I went out there, I didn't deliver the line I was supposed to deliver. And all of a sudden, I just started, it was like, you know, something like, well, I'm not going to do the bikini contest or something. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, if we have to, you have to. And it starts, they start getting on me. So what I did was I just started saying, I'm, I've been, uh, you know, on Tough Enough, and I've been working out and put the kids over, right? And I said, and these guys are working their asses off to maybe, hopefully, be in the spot you're in, the spot that you slept your way to get here. And all of a sudden, they went, what? Did, what? Did? All of a sudden, they started looking at each other like, that wasn't supposed to happen. And I just kept on, and I was digging on them, you know? The fans were like, what did she just say? So I just kept on it, and I kept digging on them and digging on them, and they were getting all flustered, right? And finally, I just I took a swing at one of them, 
from that moment that the act, oh, what I did too is I said, and I'm not going to compete in your stupid contest. Nobody can judge this body. And I ripped off my own robe. And I said, there you go. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> Screw this. I like what I look like. Screw all of you. And I got the fans all into it. Now they're like, oh shit, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? They got, they got notes, uh, yeah. Everything's off. Like now you got to respond and be in the moment. And they were, it, it was thrilling because they were paying attention. They didn't know what to do. So now the fans were engaged. They were engaged. People were throwing cups at me. This was a dumb bikini contest and the people were getting into it, you know? So then I dove on them and I started coaching them. Okay, grab my hair. You know, all that. It's real stuff. I'm, co I'm coaching them. I'm telling them how to kick my ass. And they're like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, kick me. Kick me some more. Give me some more. And then, you know, I got thrown out of the ring and I went to the back. I got my ass chewed out, of course, by, the, by Johnny Ace. Yeah. And then here come the girls, and they went on and they did their little thing, which they didn't need to at that point, because they could have just went, yeah, and it would have been over. But they did their little script after that, came back, and Stacy was all in the back going, but you know, but we're not experienced, and we can't learn on the spot like that. I'm like, girl, you know, I'm just, I'm telling the agent, I'm just trying to give them, you know, this is, it's theater, it's performance, we had a moment, it was awesome. Well, you can't teach them like that, Ivory. They're just not cut out for it. I wish you could have been there. It was worth getting in trouble for.